I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. Foster Botanical Garden is in downtown Honolulu. This 13.5 acre tropical garden is part of the Honolulu Botanical Garden system. You see the ringed parakeet. Foster Botanical Garden is also the oldest botanical garden in Hawaii and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This quipo tree is quite big. It's even larger than your wingspan. Probably one and a quarter or one and a half. Okay. Baobab tree, the garden also contains 25 of about 100 Oahu trees, designated as exceptional, which protects and classifies trees that have significance historically or culturally, or that fit into other criteria, including age and rarity. Cannonball tree. It looks like a very messy bird's nest. You know? Yeah. Validates me. Okay. So did they say it's a blue bee? So it's an animal eating something, right? No, it's a, well, eat the insect. Pitcher carnivorous plant. Sausage tree. What do they call the sausage? Sausage tree. Sausage tree. Red fruit. Leaf shape seen in Hawaiian quilts and other island designs. Go the bread? Bread fruit tree. Bread fruit tree. Oh, this is like, yeah, you see this in Hawaiian shirts. Rat tail. Rat tail. Hawaii state tree. Hawaii state tree. Yeah. Oh, I see. Too. Kukui candle nut tree. State tree of Hawaii. Are Montgomery. Palm. Bottle palm. Pandanus tree. Not coconut tree. Chickley. This is the largest. Of say, say again. Ch what? Chickley. Chickley. Oh. So this is the largest one. Chickley. Chickley tree. Manilkara zapota. Lauhala kilipaki. Traditionally woven into canoe sails, sleeping mats, pillows. Today used for fans, hats, baskets, purses. Spinal arrangement of the leaves gives its common name spruce leaves. Beetle vine. Diamond Head has become an iconic landmark recognized around the world as a backdrop to Waikiki Beach. Hiking Diamond Head has become a must-do item on many travel itineraries for both exercise and to enjoy the panoramic views available from atop the dormant volcano. The one-way tunnel, red light, but nobody's on this side. How is this possible? Still right light. Diamond Head is easily accessible from the Waikiki area of Honolulu, either by driving or by public transportation. All non-resident visitors must make a reservation for entry in advance and must purchase a parking permit if driving a private car. Walking up halfway, you will see a 99-step staircase. You can either go up to the stair or walk around by the trail. Upon reaching the lookout point at the crater's apex, it is possible to look down at Waikiki and out across Honolulu to the Waianae Mountains. On a clear day, you can take in a vista that spans from the Kulau Mountains that bisects Oahu all the way to the islands Molokai, Lanai, and Maui along the horizon when facing east. Noah Falls is located on the island of Oahu in Honolulu, Hawaii cascading 150 feet down the mountainside and is one of the most spectacular waterfalls to see on Oahu. The trailhead is a short drive from downtown Honolulu and the trail is about 1.5 miles round trip. The trailhead is located just outside the paid parking lot. 
someone collected parking fees, although stating that he was not a park employee, but that the parking lot is privately owned. If you don't have the money, you can park for free a quarter mile down in the local residential streets. Of course, wild chickens roamed freely in the parking lot. The waterfall is nestled in the mountains of Kulau in a tropical rainforest. Manoa Falls Trail winds through the lush Hawaiian rainforest, which has served as movie scene locations for Jurassic Park and Lost. The area surrounding the waterfall is prone to heavy rainfall, often making the ground and trail damp and muddy. Proper closed-toe footwear is advised. This interpretive sign titled, Why He Stream Life, depicts the O'opu, a native Hawaiian stream fish, sword tails, the poison dart frog, and the grass shrimp. The high amount of precipitation leads to a spectacular growth of plant life in the area of the falls. In fact, Manoa Valley receives the most rainfall on Oahu. In the rainy winter months, you may see an increased volume of water from the falls. How do you say the name of the fall? fall? Manoa. Manoa Fall. In North Oahu, Hawaii, in the Waimea Valley, there is also the celebrated Waimea Falls, which is not as tall as Manoa Falls, but is broader. Swimming under the waterfall is sometimes allowed, but not every day, so check ahead of time. Aloha and welcome to the Pineapple Express. The conductor today will be sitting passengers from the front of the train towards the back. Conductor will be sitting two to three passengers per bench. Any children three and under has to sit on the back. The Pineapple Express train ride in the Dole Plantation. If you have very young kids who have never ridden anything, it could be interesting to them. But for most adults, if you Google the topic of Pineapple Express train ride, a lot of people warn you that this basically is one big tourist trap. We did not research sufficiently ahead of time, and the maze attraction was closed, so our family paid $13.75 each for the two-mile, 20-minute train ride. They feel free to promote and run the train year-round, even in winter months when there is literally nothing to be seen growing, which tourists would not realize ahead of time. Once you get on the train, you cannot get off until the train stops, and also there is no way to ask any questions since it is narrated with pre-recorded audio that probably never changes. You can see a lot of signs, but the signs and the audio are not well synchronized with the train's passing, without careful focusing on the left or the right side of the train. Aloha, and welcome aboard the Pineapple Express train tour. This two-mile, 22-minute train ride will take you through a working plantation of pineapple and other crops, often featuring fields in all stages of growth, from planting to harvest. Even if your purpose is education for your kids, they will not learn much from this ride. Okay, let's take a short break and enjoy some music performed by local recording artist Manoa... There is a gift shop with a lot of people, including some interesting products. We did get some pineapple whip ice cream, and it was delicious. Waikiki Neighborhood. Family-oriented attractions in the area include the Waikiki Aquarium and the famous Waikiki Shoreline with its soft sand and gentle surf. Kapiolani Park serves as a practice arena for various sports and activities that local teams utilize year-round. You can surf where the founder of modern-day surfing, Duke Kahanamoku, once popularized the sport of surfing. You can rent a paddle board and try paddling. Or simply having a boogie board with a pair of fins, you can ride waves and have fun. Even in the evening, you can see local artists share their music and message with the people of Hawaii. Waikiki has an array of diverse international cuisines. You can also snorkel here in the lagoons or closer to the Queen's Beach section. There are a variety of fish. We did not see any green turtles there. In our previous videos, we have shown places where there are green turtles or more fish. 
We list five here. Please use the URLs in the video description for details. Turtle Canyon is 1.5 miles offshore from Waikiki Beach. The only way that you can get there is via a short boat ride from shore, and it is one of the most popular destinations for Oahu snorkeling tours. When you take the boat, you may see dolphins coming very close. Many turtles were at the bottom, more than 25 feet down. Some may come up to the surface so that you would have a good look. At the bottom, there are sea urchins covered with spines. You'll find an abundance of colorful tropical fish. Shark's Cove is known for being a snorkeler's paradise. The tide pools are well sheltered from currents and other open water hazards. It's the place to be for those who want to see a variety of Hawaii's colorful underwater denizens without having to swim into the deep, or really without having to swim at all. The tide pools, home to more than 70 native fish species, serve as a refuge for juvenile schools of fish looking to feed on the loose microalgae in the water. There can be a lot of fish through this area, so if the current and surge aren't tossing you around too much, it can be a good place to spend some time. It is only two, four feet deep, so you don't even have to swim. In fact, you should have good footwear, as the rocks and coral are very sharp. Kailua Beach and Lanakai Beach on the east side of Oahu. Our previous video showed you kayaking and snorkeling during the winter season in the Kailua Beach, Popoya, Flat Island, and Lanakai Beach area. Lanakai Beach area does not have high waves, so it is pretty good for snorkeling to see the green turtles and fish. Laniakia Beach, which is on the northwest side of Oahu and is not the same as Lanikai Beach, is sometimes called Turtle Beach. It is prime for big surfing waves during the winter time. But today, in winter, we didn't see any turtles on the beach. The turtles are underwater, and we did see a few turtle heads popping up for air. Note that the Lanyakia Beach is not the same as the Lanikai Beach we have shown in another video with turtles, even though the name Lanikai sounds like Lanyakia. Waikiki Neighborhood. You can also snorkel here in the lagoons or closer to the Queen's Beach section. There are a variety of fish. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.